All right, gonna do a video showing how the ESV undermines and attacks two very important Old Testament prophecies about Christ, one in Genesis chapter 9, verse 26, and the other in Genesis chapter 22, verse 8. Okay, the ESV undermines this stuff. Why? Well, because the ESV, they call it the English Standard Version, but I call it the Extremely Satanic Version. That's what it comes down to. And here's just one example of proving that. First of all, it's Genesis chapter 9, verse 26 in the KJV. It says, and he said, blessed be the Lord God of Shem and Canaan shall be his servant. So some things I want to point out about this. Blessed be the Lord God of Shem was what it says there. It shows the blessings upon Shem whom the Israelites descend from. This is also a prophetic reference of Christ who is from the seed of David according to John chapter 7 verse 42, Romans chapter 1 verse 3, and 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 8, and the son of David according to Matthew chapter 1 verse 1, Matthew chapter 9 verse 27, uh, chapter 15 verse 22, chapter 20 verse 30 to 31, chapter 21 verse 9, and Matthew chapter 21 verse 15. And those are just the verses of Matthew, by the way. There's many others uh, outside of Matthew, uh, which ultimately makes him a uh, descendant from Shem. It's just that simple. Christ's earthly ministry was also primarily to the Israelites. You can read about that in Matthew chapter 10, verse 5 to 6, Matthew chapter 15, verse 24, and Romans chapter 15, verse 8. And also John chapter 1, verse 11 says he came unto his own, referring to the Jews. So we see this prophetic reference of Christ, the blessings you know, upon the Shem, and obviously we see that Christ is descended from that. So we see, obviously, like just a simple comparison of scripture shows this prophetic reference to um, Christ. Next one is Genesis chapter 22, verse 8. That's the next prophecy. Uh, this Again, this is in the KJV, not the NIV. Genesis chapter 22, verse 8. And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together. Okay, no, again, you see the prophetic foreshadowing. God will, pro will provide himself a lamb. It's a prophetic reference to Jesus Christ. God manifests in the flesh according to 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, and Philippians chapter, you also compare it to Philippians chapter 2, verse 6 to 7. The lamb of God is who takes away the sins, and Jesus Christ is the lamb of God. John chapter 1, verse 29, John 1, 36, and 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 18 to 19. So we have these very two important prophetic references to Christ. Now notice how the ESV perverts both these prophetic references and undermines these Old Testament prophecies. Genesis chapter 9 verse 26 in the ESV. This is what it says. Genesis chapter 9 verse 26. He also said, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Shem, and let Canaan be his servant. Now how does that undermine the prophecy? Well notice how the ESV only blesses the Lord, but neglects to the uh, blessing to Shem and his descendants, or the fact that he is the Lord God of Shem, because again, the Israelites, that's who they, they uh, descend from. Uh, the ESV undermines this prophetic utterance and foretelling of Jesus Christ coming from the Israelite people and the seed of David. Just that plain and simple. Now, let's, let's see Genesis chapter 22, verse 8 in the ESV. Genesis chapter 22, verse 8 in the extremely satanic version. Abraham said, God will provide for himself the land for a burnt offering, my son. So they went both of them together. Um, we got a bit of a problem there again. Notice how the ESV messes around with the wording and undermines another prophecy of Christ. In this case, it attacks a prophetic foretelling of Christ being the land that takes away sins. It, it also destroys the, the very beautiful typology we see of Christ in the passage there. So, and these are just two examples of Old Testament prophecies about Christ attacked and undermined by the ESV. That's why, again, I call it the, the extremely satanic version because, you know, they call it the English standard version. I call it the extremely satanic version because, you know, it not only does it teach Luciferian doctrine, which I'll be showing as well in another video, uh, it even gives Christ the title of Lucifer in Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12. I show that in another video. So the bottom line is, is that the KJV is the word of God in English. These modern Vatican perversions like the ESV will cause you to stumble and get you into all kinds of heresy and false doctrine. Don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.